Q&A. Roll that intro. Give me reasons to doubt. Try to keep me down. But I'll put the flame out. You can't get to me. Throw your sticks in. Another question from this past Sunday. Why do we focus on the differences of world religions? Oh, by my side. If we focus on how they are similar with like messages, we would be able to live in peace and coexist. This is a great question because we all want in humanity, I believe, to coexist and to have peace and tolerance. It seems to be a very common connected thing in our culture. There should be peace. We should tolerate one another and, and we shouldn't use the word tolerance like it's defined oftentimes in our current dialogue. Tolerance isn't everyone be just like me and agree with everything that I say, although that's how the word tolerance and intolerance are used nowadays. But rather, tolerance is the ability to say, I disagree with you, but I will still respect you. I disagree with you, but I will still listen to you. I will still love you. I will still have a relationship with you. That's what tolerance is. It means that there's a disagreement that we choose to live with in harmony, to live with in charity, love, grace, kindness, and mercy. As far as why uh, sometimes we look at the differences of world religions, partially it's because the differences are so vast. So just a couple of notes that I have. Christianity holds that we are born sinful, that Christ, who is the Son of God, the Son of God, the God in the flesh, died for our sins, and that if we have faith in him, we will go to heaven. Islam teaches that we are born sinless and that we may go to heaven if we try our best to obey Allah. Islam even specifies that Christ is not the Son of God. So instantly, we have a dividing point right here at the beginning with Islam and their view of Jesus. And this is the same with every other religion. I would always go right to Christ with every religion. Who do you say Jesus is? Whether it's the uh, Mormon Church, the Latter-day Saints, they don't believe that Jesus is the Almighty God. Uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, same thing. They don't believe he's the Almighty God. They believe he is the firstborn of creation, that he didn't pre-exist uh, in deity the moment when he was born. Uh, Hinduism doesn't believe in Christ. Uh, Buddhism does not believe in Christ as the Son of God or the Messiah. So the central figure, when the central figure is different, it's hard to just teach on the similarities. Now, the similarities are good to uh, jump into. They, they create a common ground for us to do good as a society and as a religious community. For example, love your neighbor as yourself. This is a good virtue that uh, most religions will promulgate and teach their adherents and followers. We need to understand, however, though, that that's just for this life. That's just to create human flourishing in this life, this at-bat that we get. If we want to press in and help people walk through and navigate the potential of their eternity, it really comes down to some very specific and drastic differences between the religions. I hope that helps you as you are exploring and learning more about this topic. Talk to you soon. Peace.